Okay, this is a 4500 rear battery. Um, plug into my MPA there. Um, this is the voltage of them. Alright, if you can see that. Um, don't know if you can see that, but uh, the voltages of them is cell 1. Well, old cells are actually 3.81 volts. It's just charging at 1C just to get the readings for you. Um, let's go through here. Our resistance is cell 1 3.8, cell 2 3.6, uh, cell 3 3.6, cell 4 3.5, cell 5 3.6, 6 3.3, uh, but 7 for some reason is at 10.2. Uh, 10.1. It is going down. Um, I'll give it a cycle and I'll see if I'll see if it comes right. But it's it's never done that before. So, but it, they work. They're cheap. Okay, this is 4,500 front battery. Uh, again, plugged into the MPA there. Um, To voltages. Voltages are 3.8 per cell. Again, so the voltages are pretty much spot on. Um, again, one's a 1C charge at 4.5 amp. The resistance is cell 1 3.4, cell 2 3.3, cell 3 is 3.3, cell 4 3.5, cell 5 3.1, cell 6 3.3, and again, cell 7 is up at 10 milliohms again. Um, no idea why. Uh, it seems to be a recurring theme, actually. Um, wonder, don't know. Okay. Okay, five thousands now. Um, again, logged in. Twenty-five C. I believe the four thousand is a thirty C. But anyway, uh, voltage is three point eight per cell. Again, absolutely spot on. Wait for the resistance to come through. 3.8, that's better. 3 .8, 3 .4, 3 .4, 3 3.8, 3.4, 3.6, 3.6, 3.6, 8.4, and dropping. So, yeah, that one's a uh, slightly better condition. Only on cell zero, obviously, but. Uh, last but not least, 4000's front battery, plugged in again. Okay, go over here. Voltages are 3.8 per cell, so again, voltage is absolutely bang on. And we just wait for the resistance to come round. 4.1, 3 3.6, 3.9, 4.5, 3.6, 3.7, 9.1. Um, for some reason, all the final cells seem to be up. Um, not sure why it's doing that. It's on a couple of brand new opties. Um Don't know, but again, like I say, the batteries work absolutely fine. I've not had a single problem with them. They've not had that many cycles, so okay.